Hey, what's up, everyone? You're here with Chris and Goran, the Kick Dogs from Pig Dogs. Thank you for joining us here. Chris, we have Australia and Denmark playing for the knockouts uh, on uh, Wednesday. That's Group D. Uh, at the moment, Australia is second place with three points. Denmark is third with one point. And the only way Denmark is going through if they win this, uh, this game. But I'm looking at the prices, Chris. Australia is the huge underdog here. And with Denmark scoring only one goal so far, do you think uh, this price is justified? I think it's justified based on the fact that, you know, that's where the books anticipate sort of the pressure coming from is that it's going to be Denmark throwing their, you know, everything at the wall and just hoping that something sticks. And how many times we talked about it in, you know, in our two Denmark videos up to this point that Denmark is continuously viewed as, as a dark horse by many people. And this is a talented team, you know, a team that sort of flies under the radar. They're not going to get your flash and glamour of your teams like Brazil, England, Spain, Germany, uh, France, what have you. But they're still a solid team. The thing is for me in this game, though, is that I think Australia believes that maybe they could uh, they could they could take it here. So I think Australia sort of going to try to just defend their lead in the group. Um, but see, here's here's the other thing. The the other wrinkle, you know, we talked about it in our videos. I believe it was for uh, for Tuesday's games. I don't think it's going to happen, right? But what if Tunisia? takes advantage of, a, of a, you know, a France team that is already through, right? And they, and I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not saying it happens, but what if, what if Tunisia gets that one lucky goal and all of a sudden they go to four points with an even or potentially ahead goal difference and Australia draws Denmark, then all, all of a sudden Tunisia goes through, right? So I think Australia knows that they have to, they can't just sit back and let Denmark come at them and just try to hold on for a point. I think they know they're going to try to go up for the win at least a little bit here. So um, I'm going to go with both teams to score in this one. Um, both teams find their way onto the score sheet in this one. I lean towards the correct score of 1-1 one, one for plus 800, or even if you want to just take the draw at plus 320. But um, that's sort of just where I see it going here. I just, I, I, I don't see enough, you know, at least personally to be able to separate the sides in this one. I mean, between these two teams, Denmark is the better team, let's be honest. They yeah. have players playing in stronger leagues, in more competitive leagues, in, in in better teams and everything like that. But this is the World Cup and we say it over and over again, anything can happen, literally anything. And with the fact that Denmark hasn't been themselves in this tournament as of right now, they have scored only one goal uh, defensively, I mean, they have been solid, okay, but they are the team that's going to pass around the ball from left to right for 10 minutes if they have to, and that is actually what's killing them in this tournament. They lack that straight pass uh, towards the strikers, and uh, that's why they are so ineffective so far. Is it going to change in this game? I have no idea. Are they going to open up? Are they going to go more directly in this game? I really can't say. I was actually struggling with this pick, whether to take Australia on the double chance or take both teams to score. Uh, I sided with both teams to score just because I think that Australia, if they concede a goal, and I think they will concede a goal, they will have to go for it, and that's either going to be their downfall or it's going to be enough for the knockouts. But should be an interesting game to watch, Chris. With a double chance on, on, on Australia, you're covering two out of possible three outcomes at plus 155. And it's not often that we get such a good price on a team that it's actually in good position as Australia is right now. So I don't know, to be honest. I think it's going to be an interesting game. I think it's going to be fairly tactical, uh, especially from Australia. But at some point, Denmark will have to open up. And I think that sooner they score a goal, it's going to be a lot easier for them uh, to relieve that pressure whether they think the same or not, I have no idea. But I think they have to score in the first half. And uh, then Australia will have to open up in the second half. And hopefully they they get to the scoreboard as well. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it just goes without saying, though, that, you know, some people may say, oh, Australia, you know, doesn't necessarily deserve to be there. There's barely, barely any slouches that make the World Cup. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Qatar, because you hosted the thing. But... There's really only there's really nobody that you know just flukes their way into a World Cup. Let's be honest. Teams might get to the World Cup and not necessarily have the best showings, but there's no real bad teams at the World Cup. Um, 
I think that goes for Australia. Yes, Denmark is the better team, without question. You, you stack those lineups on paper side by side against each other. Denmark's gonna, you know, get the get the favor nine, ten, and maybe even ten times out of ten. But Australia has shown a little bit of fight. You know, they they sort of, they they they, sh- they came out flying early against France before sort of running out of gas, and they beat Tunisia. So we kind of see where you know Australia is because Denmark, I think, obviously in the middle of those two teams, and the same can be said for Australia. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one. It's probably when you just look at at at, um, at the card for the day. This is probably the toughest game of the four. Yeah, definitely. And I think it would be nice if we saw goals in this one, especially. Uh, there's a lot at stake. Uh, I'm pretty sure Denmark is aware of it. And uh, they will have to go for it. They don't have any other choice. And plus, like you said, if Tunisia, by some miracle, if they can beat France, and the chances of that are astronomical, but you never know, Denmark will have to go for the win. And uh, that's the only thing that will save them in this World Cup. So... That's it, guys. Uh, you are here with Chris and Goran, the Kick Dogs from Pig Dogs, for your free picks in this Australia versus Denmark game. That's Group D on Wednesday, uh, round three of the group stage. Chris, uh, thank you for joining us, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the free picks up on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. Subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you soon with more free winners.